this is Arthur Nix with EWKS, and today I'm going to talk about component pricing in heavy bid. And what is component pricing? Well, that's where the client wants you, you to quote them a unit price for work, okay, bid items, but they also want you to go a step further and to break down each one of these into its cost components. However, when you do give them the breakdown, they want it to be complete with markup and all your other types of spreads. For instance, if I have erosion control here at $28,000, the client also wants the labor and the material and the equipment and maybe the sub portion of that so that they will add up to $28,000 uh, as the unit price. So let's take a look at that. First of all, we want to go where this is set up in heavy bid. We go to tools, we go to preferences, and then we go to estimate. Now this is an estimate by estimate setting so that you can set this up to customize what your client wants. So I'm gonna go down to component pricing. And here in the white is your options for setting the titles of the components. And then on the right hand side is where you map the types of cost types or resource types to the pricing categories on the left side here. So for instance, if the client doesn't give you a space to put the subs, then you might have to put the subs into the materials. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say the client does have that category and I'm going to put my subs into there, but my miscellaneous cost category three is going to go into the materials. And these are my um, indirect costs that are not labor or not equipment. Now down here is the way that we can handle further spreads. How do you want the indirect spread in each item? Okay, it's already spread to the bid item. Now you got to spread it within the cost categories in the items. And I chose labor and equipment cost here uh, so that it doesn't spread to the material and subs. Um, same thing with the add-ons and bonds. I went to labor cost, total cost for balance markup, and then markup percentage on the uh, unbalancing. So play around with these right here. What I suggest is you do one simple bid item and then vary these and then do the math yourself to see what's happening with it so that you understand it. So how do we get this out to Excel? I go OK and I go up to Exchange, More, and my only option is Component Pricing to Excel, which works really well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and immediately it will export it out to Excel. I do want to make sure that I have run a summary. I have the latest summary in case that I have gone with balanced pricing and not unbalanced my estimate. There it goes. And I open this up and there's the, the results. Okay, so I have my unit price on the left and if I slide this over, I have the total bid price on the right. And then you'll see the categories. I got my unit price, and then my total for labor, same thing for equipment, materials and subs. And then you could take, for instance, in this one where I do have quantities, uh, you can take each one of these total bid unit prices and right here, total bid uh, for labor, for equipment, uh, for materials and subs, and it will add up exactly to that. And the total will be exactly this. Um, it will give me a total at the bottom. Also, it will list man hours, which is something typically that these uh, power companies or utility companies, whoever has asked you to uh, conform the or to make the estimate uh, in this fashion, that uh, they also want to see the man hours for each one of these. All right, and you can certainly go out and file save as and then save this to wherever you want to. Uh, as, as heavy bid will not save that internally, so you want to save that for yourself. So that is the uh, overview of the component pricing. 
Uh, remember, you can run this over and over. As you price things and revise prices, you'll have to go back. There is no direct link to it, but it's really quick. You just go File, Component Pricing to Excel, and then it'll go right back. And there it is. Uh, you know, it's really quick, and um, you can run this over and over again. All right, so that's the overview of component pricing. And uh, like I said, also that you want to go back and set up your own example and see how this is exactly working before you actually go live with this feature. Again, this is Arthur Nix with EWKS. Thank you.